Hi Pisces and welcome to my channel. This is a mid-June 2021 reading but before I begin I'd just like to let you know about a giveaway I have this month as a way of thanking you all for your support on my channel. So I'll be offering one free private reading. All you need to do to be eligible is subscribe publicly to my channel and comment on any of these mid-June readings. I'll select my favourite comment and the winner will be announced at the end of this month. Be creative and good luck. So I'm going to do these slightly different this month um, just so that it's fair for everyone. Um, so I'll do a general first of all and then we'll do a love reading, someone on your mind. Okay, um, I'm going to use the Morgan Greer deck which was recently gifted by someone on my Amazon wish list. Um, there was no note so thank you so much to that person. So Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, just general. First of all, some of you um, are at a crossroads right now. You might have been through a breakup recently, you're still healing from this. And some of you may have been purging recently, you're not seeing the way forward at this time. But you want to start again. This is like quite interesting that we got the first two major arcana that came out, the Fool and the Magician. So you will take that leap of faith and move, move on, Pisces. And you will manifest, I feel. Now, some of you have someone on your mind from the past. This is strongly coming through. So this is maybe who you're trying to manifest. You'd like to start again with this person. And, you know, we've got the Ten of Cups. This is positive. Ten of Cups with the Magician shows that what you're wishing for could come to you. This is a blessed connection. Um, it's a soul contract. You could both work at this together. You may actually work together um, in the future, or you might meet them at work. This is someone you know, so yeah, you might know them already through work. Some of you have moved on from, this is another story I'm getting here, um, some of you have moved on from someone from your past and you've got a new love coming in. And this is destined. Very strong connection. You may be from different countries, I'm getting, there's travel here. So you may travel to them, they might travel to you. Also getting different cultures coming through here. So we've got Aries, Gemini, Virgo. Let's clarify the Six of Cups with Lenormand cards. Some of you might find something out about someone from your past. 
and that yeah that helps you put an end to this reminiscing about this person we've got an ending coming through here it could also be that some of you are still thinking about the ending with this person how they deceived you but I'm really getting that you find something out here and move on let's see about the ten of cups So you go through some challenges, um, you've been through some challenges, this person coming in has been through a lot, they communicate with you, they could be older than you, or flip it, might be you that's older, um, the lilies signify peace, so this could be a peace offering as well. There's been a delay to this. Um, yeah, and what I'm getting is, is because some of you need to free yourselves from that past energy. It's around the heart chakra. Because um, we've got two sixes for love. Uh, a six here as well. Wow. A lot of sixes. Um, we've also got 30, so a three. 21 breaking down to a three. A three. Yeah, needing to balance yourself before this can come in. And we've got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Let's see about the three of pentacles. So there's another energy with the three, that's another meaning, um, a third energy here who might try and get in the way. Someone who's got their eye on this person, the Queen of Wands, you know, is another energy, male or female. And this is what causes the delay. They've caused quite a lot of suffering to this person, I feel. They could have a child. But this person will want to commit to you. And you, yeah, again, I'm getting finances will improve. So you might decide to work on something together. This person is loyal. Got the Ten of Cups here again coming through. But it just seems there's a few challenges on the way. Now, those of you who are looking for a finance, you know, reading, um, I'm seeing that some of you are being guided to go for it in a situation, maybe a new job. You will manifest what you desire. And, you know, with the three of pentacles indicating a contract, so you might have a job offer on the way, a lot of happiness here. And we had the card for fortune, the fish, coming through there. So pretty positive, I think. Let's get, uh, actually, the wisdom of the oracle. Yeah, so we've got mending here. Some of you are going to mend a relationship, heal things with someone from your past. You could have known them a very long time. So we've got masculine energy here, the yang. Um, now it can be your inner masculine energy, okay? The driving force 
that's helping you have this new beginning and go for it. You're being guided to trust the downloads and insights you receive. Um, I'm really getting though divine masculine here coming through. So if you're twin flames, I feel them coming towards you. And they're also, they've been helping you as well, um, spiritually, to find your passion. Okay, so let's now do a you and them reading. Um, so we'll start with your energy. So this is for those of you with someone on your mind. So it might not, you know, resonate with all of you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. So we've got a lot of water that's come out here, it's, uh, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. I do feel, yeah, with this card, notice the longing in this person's face. Some of you are really reminiscing right now about the past, about this person, the connection you had. With 1111, you could be Twin Flames. So you haven't been able to let go of them. Yeah, I'm, I'm really, with the fish, um, and we had peace in the last reading, I'm really getting some of you really want to mend this with this person. You're wondering if this will happen. Some of you are thinking about apologising. And this could be an apology coming towards you. Because here as well, look, we've got the cup being offered. Um, this could make you very happy, the three of cups here. What I'm getting is, um, this is when some of you decide to detach, spiritually grow. So if you're twin flames, this is, you know, advised, I would say. so. It's all about your journey, obviously. Moving on, and then that's when they they come back. And we've got the King of Cups here. So again, here's that loving offer this person wants to, to make towards you. They've got a lot of emotions, but they're the master of their emotions, so they may not share everything initially. They've been through a lot recently this person. They've been purging a lot. They might have been through a breakup, something quite difficult. So you will have justice, Pisces. Beautiful, very balanced. Um, a lot of passion, communication. This is on your mind as well, um, the separation I'm getting here, the separation with this person, you'd love for them to communicate, it could be a Libra. So let's see with Ethereal Visions deck, this person's energy on your mind. That one flipped out there.
Yeah, so here's the shift I was feeling in this person's energy. Um, they've been through something quite difficult recently. And they're still going through it, I feel. They're up at night, they're worried. Um, it's like a dark night of the soul, ego death here. But it's helping them to really um, soul search, find the answer within, and you know, listen to their soul in terms of what to do. Scorpio Virgo here. They could still be in a commitment with the Ten of Cups here. Um, but I'm feeling this is, this is them what they want with you. As you, it's quite interesting, the imagery, as you start to walk away from the connection, they start to reminisce and think about what they want. Um, there might have been some codependency in the past with you and this person. This person might have had addictions. That could be what they're going through with this shift. They're letting go of something karmic and moving towards the happiness with the sun. Really positive card. Positive outcome here. Healing, yeah, I'm really getting healing coming through here. Um, we had that mending card come out before. So we've also got Capricorn Leo there. Let's clarify this Ten of Cups. Yeah, wow. Um, we got the Ten of Cups again <laughs> with the dog. Showing loyalty to you. And the anchor as well shows stability. So they, they realise when they go through this ego death, they might lose something. And that's often, you know, when they start to heal and go within, where they realise what they lost, who they're loyal to. But there may have some negativity as well come through in their energy with the devil. Let's just clarify that. Yeah, see this is sideways. So they want a new beginning, but they can yeah, they're gonna be sort of talking themselves out of it in their head. Um, they might check you out online, first of all, to see what your status is. But they do go for it. Wow, we've got the Queen of Cups, King of Cups here. So this is very clear, this person wants a new beginning with you. Um, a change, you know, a newness in this connection with the sun as well. Really positive light I'm seeing here. Beautiful. This person is definitely going through an ending. Um, they're moving on from that. You could be at a distance. So you might travel to each other. I keep hearing you light me up. This is what they might say to you. So they're not going to share everything, but they're going to say something that makes you listen and realise they're being sin sincere. Let's just get um, a potential outcome for you, Pisces.
So it's interesting, these two came out sideways, you might have seen that. So a bit of conflict within. We're going from the five to the six though, which shows you'll come out of that conflict. And this could work out. This was sideways though, so it depends on you. I really feel here. And you know, it's it's slow moving. Um, so you may feel a bit stuck for a while wondering about this because it's not going to sort of go as quickly as you'd hoped maybe but I'm seeing a committed energy notice the sun here, quite amazing we had the sun over here soulmate energy um, very Loyal, yeah, coming out here again with the dog. There'll be a lot of back and forth communication for a while, I feel. There's a lot of passion here. So you're being guided to just, yeah, listen to what they say. Take a step back. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Okay, we've got, and this is quite interesting, we've got another knight and the two of pentacles. So I feel some of you have potentially two people. There's someone on your mind and you might meet this other person though that comes into your life. There's, yeah, there's someone at a distance you're thinking about. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini here. And we've got three energies in this card. Let's just clarify that. Yeah, one of them has the key to your heart. One of them is your soulmate. You will know the answer, <laughs> Pisces. Yeah, with the moon, there, there'll be a little bit of um, confusion, fear, not really seeing the light. And I feel this could be around this Knight of Pentacles. You're a bit unsure about one of them. But someone wants to commit to you have a new beginning, you know, they might propose, the Knight of Pentacles is very committed. They will communicate their truth, I feel. There's a lot of passion. Let's get some uh, Remitz Angels here. Just got the name Ken that came through. If that resonates for anyone, that uh, could be a message for you. So here's that codependency that came through before that might have been an issue in the past, um, or there could be some addictions getting in the way with this person. My guides really want to show you that one. Reconciliation, someone returning potentially here. A lot of you are manifesting this. You're calling this person in because it's a very strong connection. So we've got a soulmate potentially. Stay optimistic. This will help you bring this person towards you. Maybe reach out to some friends, not too many, okay? Because some people will try and deter you. That's what I'm hearing here. Try and say, oh, just let it go, you know? But follow how you feel in your heart. Okay, yeah. This person is going to make the effort. Some of you, as I felt, might be reluctant, but... You're being guided to, to just follow how you feel in your heart. Express your love. 
some of you might have known this person from childhood. Um, we had the Six of Cups come out in the first spread. So that, that would link to that. Um, I'm getting the initial S for sugar. G and C. Okay, let's get um, a spirit animal oracle for any other messages for Pisces. So trust in divine detours. Yeah, so you might feel that things have been slow, but there's been a reason for this, okay? So that things happen at the right time. Fox spirit, think on your feet. Yeah, so this might come out of the blue. Um, I'm really getting here. You may be a little bit caught unawares, so think it through. And that's beautiful, peacock spirit, let it shine. I really feel a lot of you are hoping for this. Um, we're getting the heart chakra here coming through, so you're being guided to just open up, express your love. I feel this person will as well. There's a lot of pride um, coming through and we had Leo come out before so it could be a Leo for some of you but a lot of you are just going to feel very happy about this I'm getting 46 breaking down to a 1 for a new beginning which is potential some of you um, I'm really seeing feathers a lot here. So some of you might be seeing feathers for your angels. You know, it's always signs. So look out for those. Okay, let's get an angels, speaking of angels, an angels and ancestors card as well. Okay, so we got be devoted and committed, sage. Yeah, trust your inner wisdom. And that will, that will show you the way. And we had that knight of pentacles come out, you know, who's very committed. This could be, a, you know, an old soul, I feel. They're going to know what they want. Yes, this really resonates. Trust your instincts with the owl here. So we've got a lot of knowledge, wisdom coming out. A lot of you are very intuitive, Pisces. You could be the divine feminine energy with the deer. And we've got lady as well. Enjoy growth and reap rewards. So I'm really feeling commitment here, new beginning for a lot of you. Um, with the green here, showing your heart chakra opening, you're going to open yourself up to this love, I feel, if you want this. You can be a man or woman, by the way, um, but I'm getting a, a f the feminine energy if you're twin flames coming through here, sort of in your element. Okay, Pisces, I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Um, I look forward to your comments. I always do. 
Um, you know, as you know, I like replying as well to you all, connecting. Um, so sending you all peace, love and light on your journeys and I'll see you next time.